And Savitri heard the voice, the echo heard, and turning to her being of pity spoke. Madonna of suffering, mother of grief divine, thou art a portion of my soul put forth to bear the unbearable sorrow of the world. Because thou art, men yield not to their doom, but ask for happiness and strive with fate. Because thou art, the wretched still can hope. But thine is the power to solace, not to save. One day I will return a bringer of strength and make thee drink from the Eternal's cup. His streams of force shall triumph in thy limbs and wisdom's calm control thy passionate heart. Thy love shall be the bond of humankind compassion the bright key of nature's acts. Misery shall pass abolished from the earth. The world shall be freed from the anger of the beast, from the cruelty of the titan and his pain. There shall be peace and joy forevermore. And Savitri heard the voice, the warped echo heard, and turning to her being of power, she spoke. Madonna of might, mother of works and force, thou art a portion of my soul put forth to help mankind and help the travail of time. Because thou art in him, man hopes and dares. Because thou art, men's souls can climb the heavens and walk like gods in the presence of the Supreme. But without wisdom, power is like a wind. It can breathe upon the heights and kiss the sky. It cannot build the extreme eternal things. Thou hast given men strength, wisdom thou couldst not give. One day I shall return a bringer of light. Then will I give to thee the mirror of God. Thou shalt see self and world as by him they are seen reflected in the bright pool of thy soul. Thy wisdom shall be vast, as vast thy power. Then hate shall dwell no more in human hearts, and fear and weakness shall desert men's lives. The cry of the ego shall be hushed within. Its lion roar that claims the world as food, all shall be might and bliss and happy force. And Savitri heard the voice, the warped answer heard, and turning to her being of light, she spoke. Madonna of light, mother of joy and peace, thou art a portion of myself put forth to raise the spirit to its forgotten heights and wake the soul by touches of the heavens. Because thou art, the soul draws near to God. Because thou art, Love grows in spite of hate, and knowledge walks unslain in the pit of night. But not by showering heaven's golden rain upon the intellect's hard and rocky soil can the tree of paradise flower on earthly ground, and the bird of paradise sit upon life's boughs, and the winds of paradise visit mortal air. Even if thou rain down intuition's rays, the mind of man will think it earth's own gleam, his spirit by spiritual ego sink, or his soul dream shut in sainthood's brilliant cell, where only a bright shadow of God can come. And Savitri heard the voice, the warped answer heard, and turning to her being of light, she spoke. Madonna of light, mother of joy and peace, Thou art a portion of myself put forth to raise the spirit to its forgotten heights and wake the soul by touches of the heavens. Because thou art, the soul draws near to God. Because thou art, love grows in spite of hate and knowledge walks unslain in the pit of night. But not by showering heaven's golden rain upon the intellect's hard and rocky soil, 
can the tree of paradise flower on earthly ground, and the bird of paradise sit upon life's boughs, and the winds of paradise visit mortal air. Even if thou rain down intuition's rays, the mind of man will think it earth's own gleam, his spirit by spiritual ego sink, or his soul dream shut in sainthood's brilliant cell, where only a bright shadow of God can come. His hunger for the eternal thou must nurse, and fill his yearning heart with heaven's fire, and bring God down into his body and life. One day I will return his hand in mine, and thou shalt see the face of the absolute. Then shall the holy marriage be achieved, then shall the divine family be born, there shall be light and peace in all the worlds. Reference Sri Aurobindo, Savitri, A Legend and a Symbol, Book 7, The Book of Yoga, Canto 4, The Triple Soul Forces, pages 507 to 521.